Hey guys, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another readathon. Sorry I look kind of terrible right now. I've actually been traveling all day, which is why I'm pretty tired. But I am doing another readathon. Me and a group of booktubers called Overbooked are doing this readathon. And even though I'm probably not going to be able to participate as much as I usually do, it's still going to be a fun time. I actually have already read a lot today as I was on an airplane. So I finished Better Together by Christine Riccio, and a review for that is going to be on my Instagram. It's probably already there by the time I post this video, but I did love that book. That was actually what I was planning on reading for the readathon, as well as a audiobook, which I will explain later. But instead, I'm going to be reading... A Natural History of Dragons. I started it and got like 20 pages in and I'm really liking it so far so I think it'll be a fun read. I also have a lot to do tomorrow so while I'm not able to do as much physical reading as I would be able to for readathons, I will be listening to an audiobook, The Parable of the Talents, at least I think that's the name, it's something like that, and it is the sequel to Parable of the Sower. So far, I'm liking these books. They're kind of dark, so I think it'll be good to balance it out with some lighthearted fantasy. But it'll be a good audiobook to listen to. I will link all of the channels for Overbooked down in the description so you can check them out because I'm sure they will be posting videos for the readathon, and I love them all, so you should go check them out. Again, sorry if there's going to be less vlog footage for this video. I'm going to try and make it as good as I can for you guys, but I'm pretty tired and pretty busy, so I'm just going to do what I can. It's not going to be a full 24-hour readathon, but I'm going to do what I can. So yeah, it is almost midnight, and I'm going to get started as soon as midnight hits, and I will update you guys throughout the night. Me from the future here. So I was not really thinking clearly yesterday, and I forgot <laughs> to tell you guys what the books are about. I was kind of just like, that's what I'm reading. So I'm just going to give a little summary, non spoily of course non-spoilery that word of course but just to give you guys an idea of what i'm going to be reading so the natural history of dragons is a i'm not sure what you would classify it like the genre but it's a fictional memoir by like a fictional character and so when you're reading it it seems like a real memoir about her discovering things about dragons and you know she's really interested in natural history and in her world dragons exist so i am very excited to get into this one the parable of the talents is as i said the sequel to the parable of the sower and both of those are about a dystopian I would say futuristic world, but considering that the first book takes place in 2025, or that's the first year that it takes place in, which is only four years from now, it's so not that far in the future, but it is chillingly realistic, like, it, this stuff could actually happen. So yeah, it's kind of like a dystopian thing about this girl who's just trying to survive and live her life in this world full of violence and all of these things have gone wrong with the world, like climate change, all of this stuff. So if any of that sounds like something you would enjoy, then I would definitely recommend to check them out because 
I did really enjoy the first book. All right, let's get into the video. Also, I forgot to mention that I'm not going to be spoiling any books that I will be reading in this readathon. I'm just going to be giving general commentary about what I think and how the experience is going. Well, I just wanted to show you guys I got the Song of Achilles at one of my favorite, actually no, my favorite bookstore on my trip and I'm so excited to read this book. I love Greek mythology and I've heard really good things about it. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to do a reading vlog for it because I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do one right now but if you guys would like to see a reading vlog please let me know because I might film one. So for those of you who don't know, I absolutely love dragons and everything dragon related, which was one of the reasons why I wanted to pick up this book. And I also love learning about animals in general. When I was young, I would sit down and watch those National Geographic things for hours and hours. and. They just fascinated me, so a book like this seemed perfect because of the format it was in and the creatures it was about. And something that I really love about this book is all the little diagrams and drawings in it. They're so cool and they really help you visualize different creatures in the book. Here's one of them, if you guys can see. It's stunning. Like, look at this dragon. There are some other ones towards the beginning, like this, which was another creature that showed up in the book, as well as this one. Just stunning. It also has a few good bookish maps and you know how much I love a good fantasy map. We have this one. And this one. So yeah, so far I'm absolutely loving this book. I It is around 1 o'clock, I would say. I'm still quite tired, but I can definitely read for a while more. Because this is a very easy book to read. Even though it takes place in kind of an old-fashioned setting and the things happening in it right now aren't that exciting, the writing and the little tidbits of animal and dragon lore we're getting are enough to really keep you going through the story and I don't know, it's kind of just a nice comforting read. I'm just very excited to continue with it. And I'm pretty sure this is a series, so if I like this book, I will definitely continue on. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick little update because I've kind of been bad with that. But it is around 12 the next day. Well, technically the same day, but you know what I mean. It's 12. And I have made a good amount of progress. I started the audiobook for the Parable of the Talents and I'm making my way through it. The audiobook is really good. Like, I really love the narrator. I just 
I don't know, I love the vibe of the audiobook, but it is hard to listen to that book for long periods of time because of how dark it is. So I'm trying to space out my physical reading and my audiobook pretty evenly. I'm about halfway through, maybe a little less than halfway through, The Natural History of Dragons, and I'm still really enjoying it. But one thing is, the main character does really annoy me sometimes. But it's not the fault of her, it's just the time period that she's in, like, just gets on my nerves. That's one of the reasons that I have a really hard time reading about more old-fashioned time periods or watching movies like in the past is because the way women are treated in the past it just makes my blood boil and I know that that's all part of making a realistic book or movie in that time period because you can't just ignore that or change it but it doesn't change how much it aggravates me just like in Clockwork Angel, which is a Shadowhunters book set in a older time period. I had the same emotions towards Tessa, even though I knew a lot of her actions were just because of the time period, it really annoyed me. So that's probably the one complaint I would have about this book, but it's not really a complaint since I know it's not the book's fault, it's more of a me thing, but those are my thoughts so far. Okay, so it's a little later again, and I am reading a different kind of book. There is actually a book that I read, and well, I'm not quite finished reading it, but I read most of it, and I'm writing an essay on it for school because school is coming up. So I'm gonna count that as part of the readathon because, like, I'm technically reading, so. <laughs> definitely counts. I don't know. I need it to count. It's stressful. It's a stressful time, okay? So I really needed to work on it. So I'm just gonna count it as part of the readathon and yeah. <laughs> hey guys. So I spent a really long time working on my school stuff. Thankfully, I have finished my first book of the night, but unfortunately, it was an incredibly boring book for school. But I am really hoping to finish this. That's upside down. <laughs> this. Um, by midnight, I am over halfway, but we'll see how far I can get. Hey guys, it is the next day, and... That means that the readathon is over. I didn't quite finish The Natural History of Dragons last night, but I came very close, so I'll probably be finishing it today at some point. But I've definitely read enough of it to give you my non-spoilery opinions and thoughts of this book. So I did really enjoy this book. It was a fun read. I liked the writing. I liked the main character for the most part. She seemed like a real person with lots of character flaws and character traits that make her good and bad, so I really appreciated that. I also really enjoyed the memoir format. I think that's such a cool idea to write a fictional memoir, especially for this kind of story where it's, you know, the natural history of dragons. I will definitely be continuing on with the series and I'm very excited to read the other books and see where her story goes from here. I also can't wait to learn more about the dragons in this world. I am very excited for that aspect. I thought the way they were described and all the different species and stuff sounded, well, as realistic as it could be and I think that part of the book was very well done. I also think the pacing was good. It was a little bit slow in like the section between the very beginning and like where the story really starts to go. Like there's just this part in her life that isn't quite as interesting but it's not that long and otherwise I think the pacing 
is really good and keeps you going the whole time. I'm probably going to give this book a 4.5 out of 5 or maybe a 5 out of 5 depending on how the ending wraps up so we'll see but this book will be included in my monthly wrap up at the end of this month so I'll have a definitive rating by then obviously and I do also write book reviews and post them on my Instagram so if you want a fleshed out review you can either go to my Goodreads or my Instagram and both of those will be linked in the description. In terms of the Parable of the Talents, I did get quite a bit further in listening to the audiobook and I'm excited to keep listening to it during this week. It is quite dark though, so it did kind of put my mood down a little bit yesterday, but thankfully the natural history of dragons was able to balance out the darkness of the Parable of the Talents. I think that really is my only issue with that book and its previous book, The Parable of the Sower, is that it's so dark and I feel like there should be a few more moments of lightness in the book just to kind of keep the reader going and like I don't know have some more hopefulness even though I understand the point that the author is trying to make with this dystopian world I just think it would help the story. I kind of forgot to film a proper outro so sorry for the lighting change and everything but I just wanted to let you guys know that my posting schedule is going to change Usually it's Mondays and Fridays when I post, but because I'm going back to school, I'm not going to be able to post that often. So I'm probably going to be posting on Saturdays, and I don't know if I'll be able to post every week, but that will be my goal. But thank you guys so much for watching this kind of mess of a video. I hope you guys still enjoyed it, and if you like this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Bye!